Okay, I'm going to show you how to do a beautiful Kid Pix picture. You go into Kid Pix, which has an icon of a little blue K and a purple P, and click on it. And it will start eventually. be using editing software to cut out this waiting time. Okay, it's starting. If you click your mouse or just push enter, 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 it'll start right up and you won't have to hear all the singing. When you get to this white screen, you want to make sure that you're on the big circle at the bottom that makes it a big thick wide line and click the squiggly line so that you can draw anywhere you want. I like to keep it on green at first when I'm doing this picture. You have to go from one side of the screen to the other. So you just hold your mouse button down and drag it to the other side. If you want to undo something, this little face right here, if you click it, it'll take away the last thing you just did. But it'll only take away the last thing you just did. Draw a line. Now, oops. I want to show you what will happen if you have the tiniest little crack. Okay. Now you see at the end there, right there, there's a little crack of white. So then if I get this paint bucket, and I'm going to go to the third bucket. The first one is just solid colors of whatever color you have chosen here. The second bucket is gradients, and you see if you push the arrows, they go to more selections. And the third one is design. And if you go down, 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 you'll find grass. But watch what happens when you pour it. Oh no. So you click oh no. Oh no. And then you will go back to your pencil and finish drawing that line. Now when you do the grass, it stays where it belongs. Because you have a nice fat line, it's easy to put the bucket in there and click again and make it fill up with grass. Now, because it's been rainy lately, I will click rain and put it in the sky. Now, I'm going to get my brush, and I'm going to make it brown, and get this cool pink, and I'm going to just draw a tree. La, 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 la. Okay. And you see in here, I'm going to want to fill it in, so you can take anything you want to fill it in. Something that'll fill in includes using. Yeah. Okay, so now I have a tree with grass and rain. Now, if I go to right here, the purple stamper, rubber stamps, and I go down here, and there's all these different stamp sets. You see, when you go to different ones, it changes the pictures. And I happen to know that if I go to jumble, and I go down, 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 I will find leaves. And I can put some leaves. Now, you see how small those are? Those look kind of funny for this tree. So if you click on the middle circle right here, you'll have medium leaves, which I like. These are a little too big for me, the big fat circle. The other thing you can do with the leaves is if, or with any of the stamps, is you can change them by clicking the pencil. And then you can change the stamp and clicking the color and filling it in, different colors. And now you see click OK and you have fall colored leaves. Okay, you get the idea. If you want to save your picture, file, save as my pick. Name it anything you want. And now 